everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we have something a little bit different that I don't normally do. This is not a beauty channel by any means, but today I got this in the mail and we're gonna try it out. This is the Icon Sign Lash Lift Kit. I, a long time ago, got a lash lift done by my husband's sister and it changed my life a little bit. I don't like wearing makeup. It just is so annoying. I have allergies. I rub my eyes. This is a cool way to look like you have mascara on without actually having to put it on. It lasts quite a few weeks. I would say it lasts at least like two months. I have been looking here in the US to get my lashes done, but it's very, very expensive. So, I turned to the internet and I found a kit to do myself. I can do it quite a few times here at home. I am a little scared to do it by myself. <laughs> Hopefully my eyelashes don't fall out, but we'll see. I wanted you guys to come along for the ride with me and see what happens. Here we go. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you what the kit comes with. It comes with the perming lotion, fixed lotion, the nourishing lotion, and then the cleanser. There is glue to stick the little squishy pads to your eyelids. I'm going to open up these boxes and dump them out to show you guys what the things look like. So this is the Y brush tool, that's what it's called. You can see that Sorry, my nails are actually disgusting. Um, that might be the next beauty video for us. So this is what the brush looks like. It's just this piece of plastic, and then at the end, that's the thing that helps you get your lashes stuck up onto the pad. These are the iPads, and they have a few different sizes to choose from. I'm going to do the most dramatic curl that I can. So that would be the S, the smallest one. I have a few things here also to help me that I saw in another video. I have some cotton swabs. What are these called? I feel like that's just such a weird word, cotton. Is that what they're called? And then I have a cotton round to help wipe off the product after you're done. And this to put my hair up and get it out of the way. And I also have a nice mirror here so I can see what I'm doing and not have to try to look in the camera. Okay. I'm afraid to start. Okay, so I got the size S small iPad. iPad. <laughs> I am sitting right in the sun and it's very hot. I should have probably chosen a better location to do this in because I have to be here for quite a while sitting and letting it process. We might have a change of scenery coming up very soon. So this is the glue. Apply the glue on the back of the lash lift pad, wait for 20 seconds, then put them on your eyelids as close to your lash line as possible. I wear glasses now, so my eyes, I just took them off and my eyes are like adjusting, so it feels really weird. I'm just gonna like put it there before I have the glue to know what I'm doing and know how it feels and then I'm going to really do it. I'm just here praying that this doesn't irritate my skin or give me some sort of weird rash. I did get this off of Timu, 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 I don't know what the website's called. Here goes nothing. There was a whole glare in my eye from the light hitting the mirror and now I can't see anything. So I'm gonna stop recording for a second, turn around and then I will be right back. Okay, I think I should have put more glue toward the base of it because it feels like it's coming up a little bit. And I tried to get it as close as possible to my lashes. This is what I look like. <laughs> okay, I think it's on there good now. I should have probably cut it to the size of my eye because it's like moving toward the inside corner. It is a little bit too big. I'm just holding it and letting it dry and get stuck so it doesn't come up. Okay, so the next step is to put the glue on the top of the lash pad and then brush your lashes up with this to get it stuck to the pad. Okay, so this is taking a really long time to get the glue to make the eyelashes stick. The glue is not very good, so I'm having to like really use this and like press it on there and hold it until it dries and add more glue. I'm doing it in sections, so 
it might take me a lot longer than I thought it was going to. I'm gonna try to finish gluing these lashes to this pad and then I'll show you when it's all done. Okay, so I completely understand why the thing is shaped like this now. I had to use it like this to just sit there and hold my lashes on to the thing. They finally got stuck, so we're gonna move on to the next step before I lose my mind. The next step is to use the perm lotion. You put it on your lashes, you cover it with some plastic wrap, and then you leave it for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to grab one of my cotton swabs. Q-tips, that's the word I'm looking for. I'm gonna grab a Q-tip and who am I? Cotton swab, that's so fancy. I'm gonna grab some of the perming lotion and rub it over my eyelashes. I'm gonna come over here to my mirror and show you guys that. I think you should probably always go in the upward direction so you don't move the lashes around. Oh, it stinks like when you get a perm in your hair. If you've been to the hair salon and smelled that, it stinks just like that. I'm gonna finish this eye and cover it up and come back to you guys in a minute. So now I'm going to cover my eye and sit for 15 minutes. So here we go. If anyone was to walk in on me right now, I look insane. Here's the first eye. I'll come back in about 10 minutes to show you guys the next step. Okay, it has been about 15 minutes, so now I'm going to take the plastic off. The next step is to remove the perming lotion with a Q-tip or with the tool, but I think a Q-tip will be able to get it off better. I'm just gonna wipe that off and then go in with the next lotion, which is the fixed lotion. like. I'm just gonna wipe it off. If you're doing this and you're on this video for help, I'm just reading the instructions so don't take your advice from me. Lord, one of my eyelashes is crooked so I'm gonna try to fix it right now. I think I'm gonna go in with one of these and try to get it off even more. I'm gonna grab another q-tip and I'm gonna dip that into the fixing lotion. I'm gonna put it on, it says, for another 10 to 15 minutes and then cover with plastic wrap again. I like that this one has a color because I can see where I'm putting it. All right, so that is all on there. I'm just going to cover it again and then leave it for 10 minutes. This one does burn a little bit, but I remember that from the last time. If my eyelashes fall out. I'm real sad. <laughs> so now I'm on to the last step. I'm going to take this off and I have to use this. It says to clean off all the residue, but I don't know how I'm going to get this into the cleanser. So I'm going to get another Q-tip, put the cleanser, wipe my eyelashes, and kind of like scrape it with the brush. Oh, it feels so good when I take this off. So I'm gonna go in with another Q-tip. I'm going to get the cleanser. Okay, and I'm going to dip in there. I feel like there is a lot of stuff on my lashes. I had to use a lot of glue, so this is going to take a little while to really, really clean it because afterwards I can't get it wet for I think 12 hours at least. So I'm going to take a minute here and I'm going to clean it off and I'll be right back. Okay, so as I'm clearing the glue with the Q-tip, it's like starting to pull the pad off my eye, which is good. We want it to come off. I got a little bit of cleanser on the cotton round and I'm just gonna start wiping and cleaning my lashes and getting all of the lotions and the glue off. I'm gonna keep going in and removing that. Look at that before and after, guys. Look at that. Definitely worth it. Okay, so the last step here is to take the nourishing lotion. I'm gonna go in again with a Q-tip and I'm going to just put some nourishment back into my lashes. Look who's here. Good morning! Somebody was napping. Hello! 
Oh. <laughs> wow. This did take a very long time, but it's worth it. Like my lashes grow straight out. Mm -hmm. I have about a whole nother hour to sit here and do the other eye. Luckily, you guys don't have to sit here and do it with me. I'm gonna go off camera, finish this other eye, and come back and show you guys the finished product. All right, so here is the finished product. Wow. This works great. It was very hard to figure out at first, but then once I got to the other eye, it went much quicker and I feel like I can do it even quicker next time. I'd say most people that can read instructions can figure it out. I hope this helped. If you clicked on this video to learn from other people's mistakes, I think that's a very good idea. I also went on and watched some videos while I was waiting for the first eye to get done. I was able to figure out some things that I wanna do next time that'll make it work even better and last a little bit longer. You can see with this second eye, so these lashes on the inside didn't stick great because I didn't cut the iPad to fit my eyes. So it started popping up on the corner and the lashes on the inside came unstuck but from far away, you really can't tell that much. I think it looks really good for the first time ever doing it. If this video was helpful to you in any way, or you're just my family and friends here supporting me, I would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you are not already, please hit that subscribe button. We are almost to 900. And then our big goal is a thousand to get this channel monetized. That is the goal. I am so excited where we have come in a year. It has officially been a whole year with my channel. I don't know where I wanna take this channel. I really, really want to make content that people want to watch. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment on this video with what you like. And I'll try to do more of those videos because honestly, I'm just here for whatever you guys wanna see. Most of you guys, are not subscribed that are watching the videos so I can't imagine how many subscribers I would gain if everybody that watched did subscribe and I am just going to keep putting out those videos for you guys to see. I know that a lot of people get discouraged. This does just take time. I've watched a lot of smaller YouTubers and I think the best advice that I have gotten is to just be consistent and just wait it out. So that is really all for our video this week. Overall, I love doing this. I love learning more about editing videos. It's so fun and I'm learning more and more every week as I'm doing it. So thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.